South Carolina squad making its first ever Sweet 16 appearance for the Bears. It's their first trip to the regionals in three years, and this time around at Madison Square Garden, they're playing for something different. Nick Canizales explains from Tulsa. Well, Curtis, the last time Baylor was in New York, they won the NIT championship in 2013. This time around, the stakes are just a little bit higher. We knew last night's game with USC was going to be a fight to the finish, and that's exactly what it was. Bears would have to shoot a blistering 61% in the second half as Mono LeCompte came up big, scoring eight consecutive points late in the game to give Baylor the lead for good, and they would never look back. Now it's on to the Sweet 16, where they'll take on the Gamecocks of South Carolina, who upset second seed Duke. The players talked about what it means to them playing in Madison Square Garden. It means a lot, you know, uh, just, just the history of that place. and. Uh, get a chance to go and play there and especially get a win there man. that mean the world to me so I uh, love the game of basketball and uh, you know you dream of moments like this being able to play in Madison Square Garden so I'm just thankful for the opportunity and uh, we're going to take advantage of it. Like Jim I said you, you, dr you dream for a moment like that um, it's a huge blessing uh, to just to, to even play one game and even better if we get the dub so um, very thankful for it. And Baylor is now the highest seeded team remaining in the East region. Tip off for that game on Friday is set for 629 local time. Reporting from the BOK Center in Tulsa, Nick Canizales, Channel 6 Sports. All right, thank you, Nick. When Baylor hired Matt